I think you come to the Belgium to win it. One that always fight. Hello and welcome to the Don Morrell Show, your weekly chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. And coach, coming off of a huge win last week, a good come from behind effort by the Little Giants for the 52-48 win over Hampton Sydney in the Gentleman's Classic. Uh, what was your evaluation of the game after you had a chance to you know, not only see it live on the sidelines, but then review the film and take a look at it with your coaching staff and with the players? Well, number one, uh, we won it and that was the goal. Uh, too clearly, uh, and you can jump out and say, boy, we got a lot to fix on defense. We have a lot to fix everywhere. So uh, in special teams, on offense, all over the place, and hoping, uh, here's the cliche, we make the big jump from playing a game in the first game to really looking better in the second. Well, and you make that big jump to a very big opponent, the second-ranked team in the country, the defending champions from 2019, the defending runners-up last year uh, in NCAA Division III football playoffs, and that's the North Central College Cardinals. Uh, that's got to be a team that has the attention of your football team coming in this week. Well, it, it does, and this is going to be one of the best teams ever to step out onto the field here in Crawfordsville. We know that already. Um, they have won... Uh, who know? I, I mean, 29 out of the last 30 or 39 out of the last 40. They won a national championship. They beat us in 2019, the year they made the run. Um, but it's also going to tell us where we are as a football team. Uh, and we felt like that was Im important when this game got scheduled. Do you still take some things away from that 2019 game that help you with this preparation? I mean, obviously, their running back is back. He had... A big day, uh, one of many big days in the 2019 season. And again, he comes into, this is their first game of the season. He comes into that game as the national rushing champion from last year after being the national rushing champion for the Div Division Three in 2019 as well. Uh, so is that helpful to, to know his style? Uh, D'Angelo Hardy, who's also a, a first team preseason All-American, much like Ethan Greenberg. Uh, you, know, you saw him as well when you played them in 2019. Does that help? It does. Uh, it, it also, for our team, uh, we, we're going to play this football game Saturday knowing we aren't going to see a better football team all year uh, than what we face at 1 o'clock out there Saturday. And I think it's going to be a barometer for where this team is going to go and what it's really capable of. You talked about, you know, a lot of things that we can work on to get better coming out of that first game. Be hard-pressed to say that uh, Liam Thompson and Derek Allen, the connection between the two of them, could get any better. A fantastic game uh, for Liam, particularly with his connection with Derek. We think of the big 75-yard touchdown pass for the one-play scoring drive, but there was another touchdown pass that Liam just put on the spot that Derek grabbed. The two-point conversion was obviously huge. Um, tell me about that connection between those two, uh, having really only played last season together. You know, they're two guys. That they both played in the uh, MIC conference in Indianapolis, competitive schools, North Central and Warren Central. Um, I think Derek was uh, just the go-to guy on Saturday with what Hampton Sydney was playing defensively. Uh, I am sure North Central has every intention and method of uh, taking him away or trying to. And we need to be ready for that and spread the ball out a little more. Uh, Cooper Sullivan certainly can make plays. Heisman Skeens can make plays. Uh, the Wabash uh, uh, fans got a taste of Penn Stoller and what a fine player he is. And then uh, the running game was solid too. You mentioned spreading it out. Uh, you had the opportunity uh, to get nine different receivers involved in the play on uh, Saturday. That's got to be a key to have that type of depth from that position as well. It does. Uh, we're, we're really lucky. The running backs can catch. So uh, that's just the fifth receiver uh, in, the, in the pattern. And then Connor Thompson came off the bench and uh, had a fine game too. So we feel really good about our depth uh, with the offensive skill. 
Well, we mentioned Liam Thompson. I had a chance to sit down and talk to him about his performance against Hampton Sydney and just about the offense in general. Let's hear from Liam ab about his play at Hampton si against Hampton Sydney this past weekend. The defense came out in a little different look than we were expecting at first, so we started off a little slower than we would have hoped. Um, luckily, we figured it out pretty quickly um, and just got a lot of people involved on offense, um, which is our goal every week. Um, and it, it was pretty fun to, to have that kind of success. We'll talk about some of your specifics first before we talk about the rest of uh, your offensive unit. Everyone knows by now you've had the opportunity the past couple of years to participate at the, at the Manning Passing Academy. How has being around the caliber of quarterbacks at that, not only uh, the outstanding quarterbacks with the Manning family, starting with Archie and then, of course, Eli and Peyton, uh, but being around all of the other individuals uh, in college football, uh, the other quarterbacks, how has that helped your game progress? Yeah, I definitely think just watching and uh, lear learning through um, watching other people uh, do their thing has been big for me and just seeing how they approach the game, um, uh, talking with, with people about how, uh, how they think about the game and, the, and, and preparing for games, um, just picking people's brains and being able, being able to pick up different things from different people and try to apply as many of those uh, to my game as possible has been huge uh, for my development the past couple years. You don't put those type of numbers together, either rushing or passing, without the help of great teammates. Tell me about your wide receiver group, uh, Derek Allen, Cooper Sullivan, uh, Penn Stoller at tight end, Jacob Riddle. Uh, Zane Thomas, uh, just uh, your brother Connor Thompson, that entire group, uh, how do they help make you a better quarterback? I mean, it's easy to play out there when all you have to do is get it to the right guys in, in space. Uh, we talk about getting it, getting it to the athletes out there um, and letting them create a little bit. And I think that's definitely our offense puts our guys in a really good chance to do that. Um, it's easy when you have that many options. We have a ton of selfless guys that they don't care who it is, um, who it is that week that's going to be. Uh, taking on a majority of the of the catches, but hopefully we can get everyone involved, and I think we were able to do that last week um, and get a, get a lot of help from a lot of different guys, so it's a really fun group to be around for sure. Is there something a little special about throwing a pass to your younger brother and getting a chance to see him catch it and, and head downfield? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it for the longest time. Um, we've never got to really play together um, until, until now. Last Saturday was the first time I got to uh, get it to him in, in a live game, uh, so it was a really cool experience for our family. Let's talk about your offensive line. Uh, not only the great passing numbers, but good running numbers. And probably one of the unsung statistics from Saturday, zero sacks. Uh, never yeah. went down with a sack the entire game. They were able to keep pressure off of you. How does that offensive line, particularly with a veteran center, starting with Joe Mullen at that position, how does that help in uh, your execution of the offensive plan? Yeah, Joe, Joe does a great job with those guys. Um, we do have a couple guys in their, in their first year taking on really big roles on the O-line, um, but, but Joe does a great job having them prepare for the game along with Coach, Coach Olmstead as well. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier on us as a, uh, the skill positions to be able to just go out there and not have to worry about having people in our face the whole time. Um, and big running lanes for the running backs. The running backs put up great numbers this past week, um, and I thought that really we had a, the, having a balanced attack really helped us. Um, not having to go to the pass, not having to lean on the run the whole time, but being able to do both, and that obviously starts with the guys up front. So they, they did a great job. You had a chance to play against North Central as a freshman in the first round of the 2019 playoffs. What do you remember? from that game about them defensively and based on what you've seen on film from last year's runner-up run for the Cardinals, what do you expect to see this Saturday? Yeah, they're, they're a great great team, um, really well coached, uh, dis very disciplined and uh, has some great players over there. Um, so we're going to have to be on our A game. Um, and uh, I think we, there's definitely some lessons that we can learn from, from the last time we played them. We do have a couple guys that were around then um, that are still around now. Um, so we're hoping to... Uh, uh, learn from that game, um, but hopefully put together a pretty good game on Saturday. Again, that's Liam Thompson, the quarterback for the Little Giants, coming off of a really great week. Uh, you know, tremendous total offensive numbers, both rushing with 102 rushing yards, you know, almost 400 yards passing. Uh, 
really has just become a great leader for this football team. Absolutely, the leader of our football team on and off the field, uh, including every action he takes. Uh, he's kind of under a microscope here, uh, and he handles it very well. So we talked about you know, playing a, a very talented team like North Central. There's some great history involved with this team. You go all the way back. You know, we played them in 2019, and it wasn't the result we wanted, but they were on their march to a national title that year. But a lot of Wabash fans who have been around for a, for a few years are going to think back to that 2011 game when Wabash was ranked seventh in the country. North Central was ranked fifth in the country. The NCAA sent North Central here. North Central dominated the first half of that game and then one of the greatest fourth quarters and we'll bring up the miracle worker again, Tyler Burke, uh, had one of the great games at quarterback for Wabash and led the Little Giants to that great come from behind victory and a step further in the playoffs. So North Central comes in with all of these impressive numbers, but at the end of the day, you have to play it on the football field. You have to play it out and uh, I know for them, uh, uh, certainly their goal is or should be to win a national championship. Uh, they have to play a bunch of games to get there and we're number one for them. That game of course begins at one o'clock Saturday here at Little Giant Stadium. Tickets are available on the Wabash College website. You can go to sports.wabash.edu slash tickets to purchase your tickets for Saturday's game. If you can't be at Little Giant Stadium in person to watch the game, you can watch it on the sports website as well at sports.wabash.edu slash WCVN for the Wabash College Video Network. And the game will also be there on demand after it has concluded. So you can watch any Wabash sporting event that we live stream anytime on the WCVN app or on the sports website at WCVN. Coach, my thanks to you for joining us again this week. Because good luck this weekend against North Central. And I know we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. You've been watching the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. We will talk to you next week. I think you come to the Belgium to win it. Wabash always fight.